There we go. 420. Oh, I remember this guy is chill. He's like the fairies a little bit. Okay, attachment is good for this guy, but we don't want to level up the attachment right now. That's the problem. Attachment is good, but you need, like, level, like, you need, you can't get higher than level three. Okay. Lovely goes fine. Let's do this for now. Everybody's doing fine. Yeah, these guys got theirs. These got the theirs. Because these guys gotta... I took my fucking... Shit. Where would it go? Oh, oh shit, oh shit. Bam, bam. Okay, now we're getting- we're killing this one. I did not like that sound at all. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> that dude just did not want to stay in one place. <laughs> Ooh, we can get a fucking axe. Let's go. It is very slow, though. It does a lot of damage, but it's very slow. All right, let's let's we can read this guy's lore now. A mechanical abnormality whose humanoid body is composed of entirely of galvanized steel. It holds a giant axe with both hands, but does not show any activity, as if it's unable to move. Uh, the friends um, were imperfect in one way or another, uh, so they helped each other to fill what they were lacking and embarked on a journey to make their own to make their own wishes come true. The scarecrow wanted a brain, the tid woodsman wanted a heart, and the cowardly lion wanted courage. And Dorothy wanted to return home. The one they thought to be the great wizard instead gave the woodsman a, a lead heart. But you're, but you're a machine. That means you were built to serve humans. Don't you understand? Machines don't need a heart. Good job making it all the way here, though. Uh, take this as compensation. Be sure to tell everyone waiting for you that your wish definitely came true. Some left with satisfaction. The friends departed and were never to be seen again. The hard, cold lead was depressing. Uh, the Tin Woodsman uh, couldn't agree with this. In anger, he swung his axe through the wizard's heart. The warm heart was pulsing vigorously. He shoved the, the lead heart into the wizard's now empty chest. For the first time in his life, the woodsman started laughing at the sight and felt a pleasure he had never had before. Grabbing a chunk of mushy hearts, he shoves it into his quote unquote chest. Uh, there will never be enough hearts. Once a woodsman, he now fells people instead of trees. Who the fuck is honking outside? Uh, this is a forest of hearts. No matter how many he cuts down, the forest still remains dense. A kind person would carry a warmer heart. When his heart is lost, the woodsman will fall to his knees in sorrow, clutching an empty chest as if begging for the only thing he has not left to be taken. Okay, it's sad, but I kind of- I actually I like the story a lot, honestly. <laughs> oh. Please don't tell me I'm about to get a bad right- Please don't tell me I- <laughs> I'm gonna be so angry if I get a bad, like, right before. Oh no, please tell me I have enough time to get all this energy before like a fucking- oh, I should be with the meltdown. Okay, we can have someone go grab the heart. Oh, thank god! Okay! <laughs> I was like, I swear to god, the moment this has a countdown, if we have to get- if we get a fucking bad and can't work with this guy. Okay, thank god. Oh, I should have everything unlocked here now. There we go. All right, we can read this lore. It was a night veiled in gentle mist. A, a barefooted child was looking at me. He was crying, his dreamy eyes filled with sorrow. The sadness hanging on his face stopped me in my tracks. He said he lost something precious, and when I offered to help, he gave me a big smile. A teardrop fell from the, ch the child's dewy eyes as stars showered from the sky. The world falls into a slumber, trapped in, ex in, in an ecstatic lullaby. The night galaxy... The, that night, the galaxy descended with bare feet. It takes the form of a young boy with big eyes and skin that resembles a night sky. The child shows great enjoyment with, with talking and playing with others. He has a strong attachment to the idea of making contact with another. If the child and employee reach a certain level of intimacy, he will give a small pebble to the employee he now considers his friend. The employee will feel happiness and vigor while in possession of the pebble. However, this pebble will do more than just good if the employee happens to enter any containment unit other than his. If an employee in possession of one of the child's pebbles, the sign of their strong friendship dies, he will show, he will show deep grief and sorrow for their loss. Do you like it? More than you like me, the boy quietly asked when I arrived after finishing work with another abnormality. I asked how he knew what I was doing, and he answered lightly, Isn't it obvious? I know everything. Whatever you, whatever you do, wherever you go. His gaze lie on the pebble, and then he smiled. He gave me goosebumps. I tried to, I tried to interpret the pebble, but I realized it was beyond my control. I don't get what I'm talking about right now, but you still treasure it, right? The child smiles at me. Smiles, 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 smiles. I can't get this pebble off me. My only hope is to wait for the child to tire of me. I'm waiting for that day, but will it ever come? People tell me I'm an excellent employee. Idiots, they don't know a thing. Shut up. I can't take it anymore. I can't escape him. I thought I was in charge, but the truth, the truth is, um... 
I was just a pebble in his hands the whole time. Whatever I do, wherever I go, I hear his whispers. I have to end it, but I'm not sure if I can. I came from afar. I'm so glad to meet you. Become a pebble and let's walk Let's walk the galaxy together. I hear his whispers and breath. Pitch dark, black darkness follows, just like the night I met him. All right, I like that lore. That lore is fun. Not fun, but like interesting. <laughs> I mean, I cleared something, so I'll take that. I don't even know what I- Oh, no, no, I, I forgot. I was like, I forgot I had the um, three people in it. I forgot I was doing that. Okay, yeah, literally Justice 3, Justice 2 now. Uh, the girl begging tears. Mr. Please cut off my feet. Okay. So I'm gonna you can hear seagulls. Ease yourself. Do you not have the need of blessing? I'll take this one. Seagulls. And I think- Why is this on a circle? When the time comes, the train will chug- down the tracks and sound its mighty horn. Is your future not totally grim? Have you hit absolute rock bottom and, and not, a, not a single way out in sight? Final chapter ends with the phrase born again. I'll do this one. Oh, to the new manager, I've heard that you were a very valuable asset to the corporation, contributing greatly to the prosperity of our company. I ask you please keep up the good work with, our, with your capable assistant, Angela. You will not find me in this place at the moment, but I believe we will be able to come face to face soon. The Bottomy Corporation will never forget your devotion and effort. I look forward to meeting with you. Kind regards, A, CEO of the Bottomy Corporation. You received the document written by A himself. Perhaps you're being recognized now. A is on a rather long journey currently. As all of our journeys have to end, the final destination will be home, this place. Perhaps human life in itself is one long journey? Could this moment be a part of your journey as well? The day still lies cold, but we know that the winter frost is almost over. This winter is much colder than usual. Hey, manager, I'm Tifereth. Nice to meet you. Wait, oh, there's two of them, I guess. Nice to meet you, I'm Tifereth too. I, I, I'm trying to not make, I don't know. It's like they kind of have similar voices to what I've already done before. Are you two twins? Of course we are, isn't it obvious we're twins? But if your question is whether we're logical twins, then no. In other words, trying to differentiate us is meaningless. We're in charge of the Central Command Team. The department for Central Command is a huge one, so there are two of us to handle everything. Like two peas in a pod. Isn't that fortunate? Seeing as you've survived your duties, your duties long enough to meet with us, I won't have to bore... I won't have to bore the both of us with the basics of things like what abnormalities are and how to manage them, right? If you turn out to be a disappointment, know that not even your status as manager will let you get away with it. I know you'll do fine, manager. Anyways, the Central Command Department is where the true story starts. I don't care if it disappoints you or gives you encouragement. All I care about is that you have a good performance in your work. I hope that you'll find some encouragement here. Oh, hi. Hey, Tifereth. Hi, Netsack. Since you're both- since you're both Tifereth, I guess I can see you both greeting me. Here's a plan for the joint operation drill between the safety team and Central Command team tomorrow. Please look it over. Look it over? I'll bet I have to rewrite the entire thing from scratch! Just leave it over there, Nitzak. I'll give it a review and let you know. Tifereth, you too saw there's no need to be kind to a, an addict like Nitzak. You might be cut you might be catching the upper layer syndrome that way. Speaking of that, that plan of yours came well, yours came two days later than I requested. But Zednak worked just fine when he's motivated to. You know that. Results are not the problem here. The point is, Lady Angela is way too easy on us. If I were her, I would have punished this addict right at the first infraction. Now, please, you saw it all right. Why don't you do go and have some serious discussion on implementing some penalty point system? I'll bet it. I bet it'll be productive. <sighs> the upper Sephiroth have it way too easy. Not that middle. Not that the middle Sephiroth are any better in my eyes. Like, I like our middle Sephiroth. They're cheerful and make me laugh. How many times do I have to tell you? You shouldn't laugh so easily. We have to be—we have to—we have to be strict and stoic. We're the centermost and central command team. Don't worry, Tifereth. I know. By the way, don't we have some? Don't we have something to discuss with the manager? Oh, manager, you're still here. Well, I have an assignment for you. Don't even think about slacking off. The manager will do just fine, like he always does. And he could fail too, like he always does. Damn. Okay. What's to do with the cliff off meltdown of level eight or lower? What the fuck are you? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> and this is an item. Okay. Uh, we're gonna risk some lives for um, Eugene. We're gonna use it. Okay, you take it out with you. Okay. Um, so it boosts stats. Those who equip notes from the craze research will benefit from a sharp increase in stats related to temperance. Okay. If ordered to return the notes from a crazed research within 30 seconds of equipping, the user's skin will start to swell and their body will explode within seconds. 
Okay. If ordered to return notes from a crazed researcher without performing any sort of managerial work, the user will explode. Okay, so this item I'm kind of vibing with right now. Uh, if the use if the user receives a certain amount of damage, they will explode, and the explosion will cover the entire section. The explosion will deal massive reg damage to anyone nearby. Okay. Okay. So it's. It's a gamble. <laughs> it increases your work rate a lot, but you can explode if you take a certain amount of damage. Uh, what if I don't have any use? Oh, there's already a lot written down for these weirdos. I'm assuming this guy's like a lower level thing just by like all the information, like the how much everything costs. Hey, have you have you guys ever been to one of those lobotomy meetups? Mind you, it took a lot of courage for me to bring this up again. You see, there's a bunch of clubs in the company where employees gather up. I, on I once attended some kind of ping pong group event thing, um, but there weren't any girls there, so I pulled out real quick, lol. Uh, so like, one day I saw this announcement for some weird get-together on the court message board. I got interested, so I called up the group leader, um, and introduced him as redacted from safety. I asked were there any girls in the group, and he told me there were a ton of female employees. They're like, I'm being super interested, so I signed up right away in the, cup the, the upcoming meetup. So I showed up, got a name tag like everyone else. I don't remember everything, but... I think I saw like three people from training uh, and two from information. About maybe half an hour later, the leader brought uh, the leader brought in dozens of cans of well cheers and a tray and gave one to each of us. I should have realized something was wrong because uh, the can was already open, but I'm a sucker for soda and I just gulped the damn thing down um, my throat. The moment he passed me the can, he cast me a can. <laughs> Lamau, LMAO. Okay, I don't know what to do with these guys though. Um, you know, we're just gonna risk, we're gonna risk these people's lives. I'm gonna try attachment. No, Basil, go. Pretty sure this is a Zayn. Instinct's high. That's high, okay. Um, upon the completion of our work process, a can of beverage is discharged from the vending machine. The type of beverage that is emitted seems to vary in correlation with the work type. Employee who ingested beverage said it had a distinctive aroma and sweetness. It expressed a feeling of heightened energy after. Um, following the test, the physical health of the subject was confirmed. Blah, blah. A blue drink can is emitted. It contains an odorless liquid that is highly carbonated. It is, is, it is found to be effective restoring a mental strength. A purple drink uh, can is emitted. Its appearance and composition uh, and taste are exactly the same as an, as a other grape flavored carbonated beverages that has been found with the physical fortitude and mental. Um, when the work result is bad, do not take any drink provided for the vending machine. Okay. Most of my dudes are... <laughs> We're trying to get higher than Zay and shit. Let's get all the info for this guy. Open can of well cheers. Let's see, it's four to get a bad. This is dude's nothing. And it's not escaping, so yeah. Alright, I'll we'll finish today's work day. Someone might have died, but that is not my problem. I mean, it really is my problem, but we're gonna ignore that it is my problem. Alright. And the mini shells cried out one word manager. Blood covers the whole four screams echo people running away. My dear employees, I do hope we put the gas mask which is to be before we enter. I'll do this one. Uh, and my dear employees, that's the other one again. The smiling faces are unfamiliar yet sorrowful. Still, it didn't matter him. After all, he was destined to be a big bad wolf. I'll do these two. In fact, it's to build a fertile world for a long time. But what did fertile really mean to them? Is it worthy of all the tales of conflict and pain that took place? Numerous stories begin, began and vanished, and in that process, people started to lose faith. Looking at them, some saw despair while others saw hope. At a certain moment, a new civilization was born. Countless things changed in the blink of an eye, along with the emergence of new technologies. All of the wings that kept the world aloft hold at least one singularity. That right, just, the first, oh, just as the first humans wanted, those technologies had intention to create a fertile world. People wanted a better world. And that aim for a better world set forth the new spectacles of Shimmer, a previously unimaginable sight that bursted, burst forth to unprepared mind. Whether or not it all makes everyone's lives truly fertile is a question we simply won't know the answer to. One thing is certain, it is what, is, it is what has enabled me to speak with you now. I'm not gonna lie, I have no idea what she just said because I did not process a single thing of that. It seems the place has become more talkative these days. You seem motivated than usual. It's rare to see such a lively atmosphere. It's getting even me excited. Lively isn't really the right word. It's more like excited over a trivial thing, all because of a new manager. It's nothing special to us. Be more understanding, Tifreth. This is Lobotomy Corporation. News is rare other than the usual word of someone's death. The employees need something to talk about. Well, if it makes them more efficient at work for even a short time, then I'll, and then yes, I'll be understanding. What 
I can't get us why they're so noisy about it all. Weren't you as excited for the first time a new manager came in as well? Well, yes, because it was the first time! It's still worth the excitement, even if it's not the first time to happen. Do you remember? Back then, we made a bet over whether the manager could save an employee who was at 95% mental corruption. Of course I remember. I bet that he couldn't. You placed your bet on them being saved. Yeah, though the employee died, unfortunately. I was so happy with my victory. I insist on keeping our... Um... Ah. <laughs> keeping up our bets, even though the results always end up the same. Right, but you stopped making the bets at one point. Well, because you always lost. Winning wasn't fun anymore. I never bet without thinking it through, though. I always place my hope in him, thinking, maybe this time. It's a shame that you never got to win once. Well, maybe if we had infinite time, I guess a day would come where my hopes could come true. What do you think, manager? I could, I, I could hedge on it happening. I agree with you, manager. Perhaps the bet could have turned out differently if we'd met sooner. All right, past the day with the cliff of meltdown of level seven or lower. Okay, so it's the same one as before, just um, slightly, slightly not as, yeah. What the hell? What the? What the fuck are both of these? What the hell? Okay. <laughs> okay. This looks like a lot. We're gonna be risking some lives today. Uh, it's not like it's not like these kinds of happenings are uncommon here. But one day, dozens of employees were killed in an incident. The reason is the same as always. Something breaches. They tend to stop it. Then it leads to another breach. The one fortunate thing was that uh, the department was sealed off before things can get any worse. So they all died in the same place. Literally, a mountain of bodies was formed. Obviously, no one wanted to clean up that mess. Normally, it should have been uh, taken care of within a day, but because the accident was so horrific and everyone was exhausted, the cleanup was delayed in the, with the authorization of the department Sephra. Don't ask me which department it was in. I don't remember the details. God, I'm gonna hate this, aren't I? <laughs> okay. Um, no, I got my first A left, no. And you know what worries me, Boot? Looking at how much everything costs here, the fucking growling, holy shit. This costs the same. I don't know what to, to try for this one right away. I'm gonna try that one. Cause why not? Okay, at least you survived, it seems like. Right away, I'm gonna do these. When Ramirez died while working with um, this dude, the cookbook and I lower, when a wounded employee entered the containment unit, it lowered. Um, when the result was bad, it lowered. When in 10 employees die inside the facility, the clip counter lowered. However, deaths caused by execution bullets were not recognized. While this dude was escaping, it'll show sensitive reactions to corpses. During suppression, ensure that no one dies due to the abnormality. If casualties do happen, try to keep them away from the dead. If your suppression cannot be completed on the previous level, you must be very careful to prevent any deaths inside the section where it's located. Uh, while escaping, re uh, reducing its HP to zero did not fully repress it, it will only be quelled by attacking the main body after continuously reducing its HP and defeating the other spawned entities. <laughs> Jesus Christ. This dude at least is tolerable to deal with as long as you don't let it, 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 it see anybody dead or hurt. <laughs> Annoying, just just don't let it just don't let its counter go down and you should be fine. Because we we learned that you can pretty much get a good almost every time, especially with the paper with Queen of Hatred, we shouldn't have to kill things with the dude. You know what? I'll I'll still risk it with this guy because we figured out this one pretty well. Uh, I don't know, but his appearance resembles a human. Uh, th a human is pushing it. <laughs> Uh, that resembles a human, but cannot and should not be human. It periodically devours employees and wears their shell. The skeleton and organs are misplaced during the process, so it takes a bizarre form. I'm gonna try attachment. It's definitely not the right one, but I'm gonna try it. To see if I- see if you die. Let's see, Boot. Are you gonna die? She was Boot Senior. They had never spoken a word to each- Oh! <laughs> well, <laughs> rest in peace. Got too much damage with the paper. Oh yeah, true. I forgot you blow up. I forgot that was a thing with the paper, to be honest. The lower the working employee's fortitude, the lower the success rate was, and the less stable the work was. Okay. So you always want higher fortitude with this guy. Uh, when an employee whose justice was lower than level 4 completed the work, the club up counter decreased. Okay, so this is a high stats, dude. Xiao, who was in a containment unit, was killed by this dude. Suddenly, it changed into Xiao. The same, instant, the same instance occurred when another employee had panicked. Oh yeah, this dude does a lot of damage. Never mind, I am dead. <laughs> oh! Oh! 
Oh shit! I love you. What the I fuck is you. happening? It was a bad. Tasha was attacked and turned into this dude's shell. Employees at Fortitude level 3 or lower immediately panicked upon entering this dude's unit. It's recommended that employees uh, lower than Fortitude level 4 never be sent to work with this dude. Hi, stats guy! <laughs> what if I just like. Can I, if I let it keep killing people, will it escape? <laughs> like, I don't want to see these guys escape, honestly. <laughs> I mean, I do want death. We've already had two deaths right now, so. Send, send in <laughs> our low level dude. This is gonna hate his life. This dude just got hired and he's like, yay, new job! And then he's- he, he goes and has to face, like, God himself. <laughs> I don't- I Oh, you. what the fuck? I love you. I love you. I love you. What the- What am I doing? Did I shoot somebody? <laughs> I just shot somebody. I don't know what just happened. <laughs> I panicked. I don't know what that was. What the fuck just happened? Where did he go? Oh! <laughs> that went well. Oh my god. See, now we let this guy escape. So we, we let this guy escape and then he can see all the, 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 the dead bodies. What is that sound effect? What is- oh my god. It's so loud. What if I send someone to repress that? Wait, where the fuck did it go? Wait, what the fuck? <laughs> She's coming to help! Oh, this guy's out too. She's helping! I don't think she's- is she doing any damage? Oh my god. Shit. Holy shit. Oh my- that is horrifying looking. Where'd the other one go? I want to see the other guy kill people. Oh shit. She going crazy. I want to- what happens? <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> I don't know what's so fun about watching these go and like kill everything. Oh, she's upset now. She's become a, a dragon. <laughs> yeah, no survivors. <laughs> my god. Oh no, this dude. <laughs> this dude's hanging on. There's only 10 Aleph's. There's only 10 and I got two of them. Back to back. Okay. That went well. <laughs> Hi there, editor Kamoka here, but through my phone because my mic is currently broken, so sorry if I sound really odd. <laughs> I would like to thank everyone for their support on my Lobotomy Corporation series. This has definitely been my most successful series on my channel, especially for a YouTuber as such a small size as me. It's been so great to see. Unfortunately though, this is where my Lobotomy Corporation series ends. Originally I played this game on Twitch, but over time I really lost my enjoyment for streaming it. I think this game has such a dedicated and awesome community to it, which is really cool to see. And you guys are very supportive of any new person getting into this game. Though I do feel like when I was playing it on Twitch, I did struggle a bit with being backseated. I kind of lost my ability to learn along the way because people wanted to help, but help kind of ended up being either telling me what to do or kind of spoiling things, stuff like that. I have played more of this game off stream, and I do really like it, even though it's a bit irritating at times. So I do apologize that this is the last episode. I hope it did go out with a, with a bang. <laughs> and I really do encourage people to either play this game themselves or support small creators like myself playing it as well. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you watch some of my other content. I would appreciate it.